Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I have a Me Made May roundup as well as a brand new pattern and a giveaway. Okay, so where did May go? <laughs> it went so fast. We had a lot going on this month and some, some big changes that are coming up and as a result, my month was a little crazy and I did not participate in Me Made May the same way that I have in years past. And I was wondering if you participated this year. If so, link me up to your Instagram handle or your blog or wherever you posted your photos. Um, I more participated, I, I participated partly on Instagram, but I also participated um, just being like not feeling like I had to post everything, which I think is a difference from last year. Last year, I had a whole big thing where I did everything in front of the doors of Sitges. And even though that was really, really fun this year, that just wasn't going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little slideshow of everything that I wore during Me Made May. And if you keep your eyes peeled, you're going to get some previews of content that is coming up in the next couple weeks as I start to record again and get everything out for you guys to see. So have a look. So there are a couple new items in there and some couple tried and true oldies but goodies. And I love this time of year where I pull out all of my spring summer wardrobe. And I have so many things that I've made over the years that really get, so, that I realize get so much wear that I realize are so practical. And I'm just so chuffed that the more, the further I get into my sewing journey, the more I realize that I really, really wear the things that I make. Not everything, I'm not gonna say I wear everything, but the things that I, that I decide to hold on to get worn over and over again. Now, here is an example of one that I think is gonna fit into that category, and this is the new pattern from Pattern Emporium. This is called Every Day's a Weekend Dress, which is a, an adorable name. And I'm gonna put in pictures because standing up is just gonna be a whole hassle. So you can see some photographs here. This pattern has so many options, which Pattern Emporium, she's always, and now that I'm on the team and I'm seeing the process, it's really interesting how she'll come up with something halfway through testing and add that in as an option, add that in as a, you know, uh, as a new view, you know, and it's really neat to see that process. So this pattern is a tear dress in cotton in uh, sorry in jersey so it's a knit dress and i decided to do the cap sleeve version with two tiers because i don't have very many long dresses this is another fabric from minerva and this is a viscose jersey uh, i love the pattern on this and i love the colors i just thought it was so light and summery i do really like viscose jersey a good quality viscose jersey for summer because i do find that it breathes and it moves and so when it's really hot out i'm more comfortable to wear it more com more com blah, blah, blah. so when it's really hot out i am more likely to wear a viscose jersey than perhaps a cotton jersey or something with lycra in it that's a little bit heavier so i made this and i made it the longer length because i also find sometimes in the summer if i'm wearing something short and i sit down like on a plastic chair you know it's this tmi <laughs> on a plastic chair and you get all sweaty and something a little bit longer that covers your legs too from the sun yeah, so I thought this is a length I haven't done before. So I did that. So I absolutely love this pattern. I, I did, so this is my second pattern with them. You guys really love the last one. Um, this one has, like I said, so many views and I love her patterns because she shows styling options. She does videos that have so many different versions. She takes you through every single step. And I think that they're great for, for beginners, but also experienced sewists in that you can kind of skip over that and just sew it how you want to sew it if you want to. But if there's a new technique or something you want to learn, it's all right there. 
And I do have a link below that if you click through and you buy through that link, then I get a little piece back from me and I would so appreciate it if you would. Also, I am giving away a copy of the pattern. Huzzah! Kate from Pattern Emporium has offered a pattern for me to give away to you guys. And uh, so very kind of her. And you guys know I love, love, love to do giveaways. So all you need to do is comment below and let me know which view you would make. Would you make a long sleeve, short sleeve, V-neck, round neck, one tier, two tier, so many different options. Uh, let me know what you would think you would make. And you remember, as always, you must come back one week from today. I'm gonna put the date exactly below and you need to come back to see if you won the giveaway because if you don't come back, I have no way to contact you. So if you want to enter the giveaway, it's really, really important that you come right back. One last surprise, I have a little walkthrough of a local museum here in Sitges. One day a month, they have a free day and my husband and I happened to be walking past and we popped in and we saw this beautiful museum here in Sitges and so I thought I'd give you a little peek. All right, that's all for me. I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope that wherever you are, the sun is shining and you are sewing and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.